so today guys as you guys can see from the title I wanted to speak about the Mac foundation loose powder um, it's in the shade light by the way and I kind of did a demonstration on how I use the powder so I'm just gonna stop talking and go right into that and then I'll let you guys get some info on how I really feel about it okay so yeah thanks for watching <laughs> She said, eat me, I'm no bad first sight No bad first sight, don't you see my last night So basically, I already applied foundation to my face Yeah, so this is where we're gonna start the video I used my MAC Pro Longwear Because I realized MAC products work works well with each other and it's in the shade NC45, that's what I'm wearing. And I blended it out with this um, this sponge from Real Techniques. I absolutely rock with this sponge, you know why? It feels the same as the Beauty Blender. Like guys, it's a lot cheaper, it's drugstore and it blends your makeup seamlessly. So I'm just gonna apply some, um, some concealer now. Okay, so what I normally go in with first to do my under eye is the Sephora concealer. It's the Bright Future concealer and it's in the shade Caramel. So I let it dry down a little bit. I proceed on blending it out. Now you want to get up under your eyes because you don't want those creases to pop through or to seep through. <laughs> So after I do that, I go in with my creamy beige or beige concealer. That's what I use under my eye. That's what works for me. So that's what I use. You do not have to use this. You can use whatever concealers you prefer. This is finished, by the way. I have to get a new one. Or I can just go and squeeze it out till it's finished and get your money's worth. <laughs> I added some to my chin as well. I'm just wasting my makeup because I'm not going away. <laughs> I'm just demonstrating because I want you guys to see how well this um, loose foundation works. Okay? Okay, so let that dry down a minute. You can find it to speed up the process. Remember guys, when you watch these videos, please the thumbs them up. Don't just watch the videos. Like, please, if you support me, just thumbs up the video after you finish watching it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Blending it out. Anybody on here watch Power? Oh my god, I love power. Yo, Tommy. Tommy have the best swag ever. Like, for a white boy, I think he has the best swag in power. Not even ghosts have swag like Tommy. All ghosts wear a suit. But yo, Tommy's swag is this, isn't it? <laughs> I really love power. using espresso to do my cream contour I'm cream contouring espresso from black when well, I gonna say black opal so I'm gonna mix up LA girls espresso and that's what I'm using to contour then this up into your hairline
okay guys so now we're going to use our setting loose powder okay so this is what it looks like and this is the brush that I'm gonna use to apply it I like this flat flat top brush this is from elf okay so I dip a little bit in there oh my god I love this setting powder oh look at that guys look at that and I don't bake guys like I don't bake but it's okay I'm gonna bake today guys I love it guys I love how I love how smooth it is oh, I love it. <laughs> you see why I can't do my makeup in my clothes that I'm gonna wear so so that's what it looks like for now guys so let me just finish up my makeup and come back to you um i'm very pleased with this the powder or the foundation or whatever oh my god i love the way how it seeps into my skin and everything but yeah let me finish up my face guys and come back to you in a few okay yeah let me do that okay guys so i finally finished my makeup i had some lashes on but i took them off because i never really like how they look i need to get some new lashes anyways guys this is the look that i came up with after everything is done um yes yeah, so let's talk about this foundation slash loose powder slash foundation loose powder blah 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 whatever what i realized on youtube is that a lot of youtubers okay they only speak about products that they're promoting for and they only push products that they're promoting for and there are so many other different products out there for you to explore with and try out okay now like i said i've seen people talking about the laura Mar marcier um setting powder i've seen them talking about the sasha buttercup setting powder i just wanted to try this out for myself and see how it works and it works well as you guys can see that's what i'm wearing right now it's flash tested guys guys I tested with my camera there's no flashback there's no mess and it wears very long because I've worn it before right before I came on here and did it on camera and everything yeah I've tested it before so I know what I'm talking about now um, like I said this cost like $38 I think it was 35 or $33 before taxes and then after taxes it's $38 so it's little it's a little bit cheaper than the Laura Marcier setting powder but yeah it's much more expensive than the Sasha Buttercup powder I'm speaking about those two setting powders because that's all I see every time I click on a youtuber's video doing makeup that's all I see okay so that's why I'm comparing them to this one okay however guys like I said um before you do not have to splurge on high-end makeup find what works for you and whatever works for you you stick with it yes it's good to try new stuff I don't have a problem with that but my theory with makeup is find what works for you and whatever you find that works for you whatever you're comfortable with you stick with it okay and don't be forced to try other things and splurge if you cannot afford it that's just plain simple but in any event I really do love the powder and um, yeah I recommend that you guys try it out like I said it's in the shade light and they have other what you call it they have a lot of they have a wide variety of colors to choose from that's what I like about Mac as well you know you you will find a shade at Mac so I think a lot of people don't really talk about Mac products because it's not it's not what they call a word eh like they probably they test stuff on animals and that's why a lot of people don't really go on it but you see I'm not gonna say I don't care but I'm not really that big I'm not that big on animal testing or anything like that so it doesn't really matter to me 
but yeah i guess that's why a lot of people don't talk about mac products and like i said i don't really see people talking about this and this is why i decided on making this video so you guys judge for yourself look at my makeup and if you like it then you like it if you don't you don't so is there anything hopefully there's nothing that i'm leaving out but yeah like i said try new stuff see how it works for you and whatever works for you you stick with it okay and po popularity doesn't mean it works well not because you see everybody and their mother use something it doesn't mean that it's going to work for you so that's the type of person i am i like to kind of get out of the box try new stuff and then i talk about it like i said not everything that worked for you are gonna work for me i always say that but people still get offended in any event let me stop rambling thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like it please to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and i'll leave a couple videos that i've done before so you guys can check them out and i'll also leave my subscription link so you guys can click on that beautiful face over there in that little circle and it will send you right to the subscription page so you can get notified whenever i upload it so like i said guys thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one oh the lipstick that i'm wearing guys before i go it's called so shard and it's from mac as well and i line my lips with bold boldly bear see what i have left out tight here i'm gonna use it until it done because mac lip liner them them very expensive it's like 17 dollars for one before tax and uh, why my tax office so high or why cosmetic tax office so high i see my sit on your so waste my makeup coming out gone away but in any event it's all love it's all for you guys see in my next one and yeah thank you so much for watching and thanks for your support the next video i'm gonna probably do is something about my wig i'll probably show you guys how to blend your wig with your hair so that people think it's your natural hair because people think this is my natural hair you see me but let me go i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys Mwah.